So I picked up this ornament at the Dollar Tree. As you can see, it's pretty, but the finish was incomplete. So I started by refinishing her skin tone to make it a little bit more even and um, to make her just come alive. There was a lot of places where the spaces were white where they should have been her skin tone. So I just went over those areas with the brown to make her look a lot more realistic. And then I wanted to give her some eyelashes um, that was clearly missing. So um, I slowed it down here so that you can see um, me going in and just painting in the eye line, just the contour of the eye line. And then I went in and put in the, the individual eyelashes. I didn't want to put too many of them. Just an indication of eyelashes was what I was going for. As you can see, the area is very small, so a steady hand was necessary. The brush I used here was a very fine tip to um, get into that small area. And now for her lips, I used the same color brown as I did for her skin tone and I added a little bit of red to it. I didn't want it to be a very bright red, so um, I softened it with the brown and I applied that to her top and bottom lip. I wanted to give her the rosy cheeks effect, so I used the same red and brown paint mixture and applied that to her cheeks. And I also applied it um, to her, just above her eyelids and um, her chin. Her hair, you'll see that it was a grayish color, 
and um, I went in with the black acrylic paint and defined the hairline even some of the areas you'll see where they have an indication of strands of hair meeting the skin and I went on ahead and I pulled that out as well and um, I added a part when brown skin tone there so that you can actually see that there's a part there to define the two afro puffs and then I cleaned it up around the hair ties the gold hair ties to make it um, just a little bit more um, defined so here's where I was talking about where I cleaned up and actually painted those strands of hair that they originally um, put on there I just wanted them to be seen So here I'm going to have to ask your forgiveness because I kind of got out of frame on this painting. Um, but what I did was the white and the gold areas, I, uh, I cleaned those up. Um, there were some areas where the gold was kind of messy and so I cleaned that up. My gold isn't exactly the same color so I kind of made it work. Um, I brush the gold over the collar and um, then I added some gold just a little like a bronzer over her nose and over her chin and over her uh, lips just a little bit around her lips and on her eyelids I put a little bit and then I also gave her little gold earring studs So what I'm doing here now is I took a different paintbrush and I wet the paintbrush and I used the same brown and red and I went over her lips one more time because I noticed that it was looking a little rough so I kind of wanted the paint to be a little bit more fluid rather than um, that thicker consistency that I used when I originally painted it. So when I looked closely at her fingers, I noticed that the artist actually made a suggestion of fingernails. So I went on ahead and I painted in those fingernails. I used the brown with some white and then I used that same color to create a suggestion of palms. Um, I didn't want to leave it all brown. I wanted to make it look as um, as real as possible. I mean, I know it's only a little clay figurine, but I wanted it to look um, more realistic. So I added the that um, same brown with the white and created the palms um, as she has her hands in that praying position you should still be able to see a suggestion of um, the palm of her hand so that's what I did here
back in with the a darker brown and white mixture just to kind of blend where her skin and her, the palm of her hands meet just to make it look a little bit more natural. satisfied with how she looks and um, this is how she looks at the end and I anytime I buy an angel to go on my tree I put a bible verse on there so that's the verse and here's how she looked just to remind you how she looked at the beginning and how she looked at the end and here she is on my tree thanks for watching <laughs>